everybody! So as you can see titled above, I'm going to do a video today on HD powders. So I have four different kinds to go over and I'm going to explain how I like each individual one, what differs on, in them and how I use them. And also I'm going to go um, over what an HD powder is, what it can be used for, what I use it for, and how I like the whole HD thing anyway. So if this is something you're interested in learning, please just keep on watching. So I have three different kinds, uh, three, I keep on saying three, I have four different kinds of HD powders here. Now we go from high end to low end. So I have the Makeup Forever. This is the smaller one. Um, I got this at Sephora, you can get this for $15. They have a larger one that is also $30. So, the larger one is, I forget how big it is. This is five grams, so. And a little of this stuff goes a very long way. And then, this is the MAC Prep and Prime. Um, they call theirs Transparent Finishing Powder, but this is just the same thing. It's an HD silica powder. I have the e.l.f. High Definition Powder, and it comes in a container like this. Oh, I just broke a nail. My nails have been breaking so easily. I want to get some of that OPI Nail Envy. I think I'm going to stop and get some tomorrow because it's just not getting any better. And then the last kind I have, I just featured in a haul of mine, but I did use it today. And it takes me a full day of wearing it to figure out if I like it or not. So I've had this on since about 11. And I went shopping, and it is hot as hell out today, which is very strange because it hasn't been super hot here in Pennsylvania, but today it was very hot and sticky and meh. So, this one is from Coastal Scents. I got a one ounce jar, but I actually filled up one of these with a sifter in it. Um, they actually call theirs Silica Powder Spheres. It says silica slash silicone dioxide. Now, theirs was $4.75. $4.75 for one ounce. The e.l.f. one is $6 for this. They're having 50% off their studio right now, so you can check out if you can find this. And then the MAC Prep and Prime one, I believe, was $28, and this is all U.S. dollars. So I'm going to go over what I like about them. If I had to choose one out of all of these that I like the best and it wasn't about money, like I didn't have to worry about money whatsoever, the makeup forever. I have a girlfriend, her name's Candace, and if Candace you're watching, hi honey, I love you. She's one of my very close, um, you know, best friends practically. But um, her husband just joined us, I think it was the Air Force, correct me if I'm wrong Candace if you're watching. but. She's going to be stationed with him somewhere, and he's one of my good friends as well, and they're not sure where. They picked Arizona, a couple other places, but she's been having trouble with her makeup and the heat, and it's just like melting off. So I took her to Sephora and got her to pick up some of this stuff, and she loves it. I wrote her a text message yesterday and was like, how do you like the powder? She's like, I love it. Blah, blah. She's going on and on about it. So practically what I would use this for is setting my under eye concealer. I take a 224 from MAC or Sigma, whatever you want, and dust it on underneath after I um, after my concealer is on. And then I take whichever one I feel like and dust them all over my face. I actually went swimming with this one on. It was this specific one. I do have many, I know. But it was this specific one I wanted to test out. I had a full face of makeup on. Not eye makeup. I think it did really some, something very simple and just mascara and whatever. I didn't expect to go swimming. I didn't really know. But we went swimming and I jumped in. I went under. I mean, you name it, I did it. I had concealer, foundation, and this stuff on. When I came out, oh, and blush. I had blush on too. I had a cream blush on. It was lady blush too. When I came out and up out of the water, spent three hours in the pool, my face makeup was still on just like it was when um, before I went in the water. So this stuff is amazing. It, it completely makes you waterproof. So that's just phenomenal if you're asking me. Um, like I said, I was in. The, I had sunscreen on too. I was in the pool for three hours and it all stayed on, which was good because I had dinner afterwards to go to, so my makeup was still looking just as good as it was before I actually went into the water. Um, 
like I said, you can use it to set under eye concealer or what I do is take a big fluffy brush. I'm not sure of the number of it. I want to say it's a 134, a, a Sigma one, but they changed the number, so I'm not sure of the new number now. But I'll just take some of this and pour it in the lid. I usually leave mine stored this way so that it doesn't like, when you open it this way, it doesn't fly everywhere when you open it, just like bare minerals or anything. So I open it up, put some in the cap. You do not need a lot at all. And I take my brush, I first dust it over my forehead, then take a little bit more cheek, a little bit more here, nose, and I do it over my chin. And it has my skin looking flawless all day. Sometimes I'm waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning, and at 11 at night my, my makeup's looking just as good. So I'm a huge fan of H HD powders all around. Now, I love the Makeup Forever one. This one's great. If I was to recommend any of you to get any of them, it would be the Makeup Forever one. But then I found this one. This is the Coastal Scents one. It's the Silica Powder Spears. You can find this in um, the filler section of the Coastal Scents website. Like I said, it's one ounce, $4.75. And this is 100% to a T, the same thing as this Makeup Forever one. That's why I said if I didn't have to think about money and, you know, be frugal about things. Some people are label whores, 100% label whores, and they have to have this same Makeup Forever. This is the same thing. It's 100% pure silica powder. That's all it is. It's finely milled, just as finely milled as this one. If I took some of this and then took some of this and put it in a plastic baggie and did not label them, I'd have no idea which one was which. They wear the same, they keep my, my um, face um, from getting oily in the T-zone even. I have no oil in my T-zone. They keep my um, concealer from creasing into fine lines. My makeup stays on all day. These are exactly to the T the same. Now, like I said, I took some out of this big thing and put it in a sifter jar. This was like all of 50 cents or something like that from Coastal Scents. So, like I said, these two are the same. If you're a label whore, whatever. Do your thing. Label whore it up. But I'm saving money getting this. It was four seventy-five for an ounce. This will last me forever in the amount that you have to use. And you have to remember I have some in here too. So it was filled up to about there. This will last me forever and ever and ever. So check that out on Coastal Scents. I'm going to link them below. Now the next one I have here is the MAC Prep and Prime um, Transparent Finishing Powder. This one, see, they're all the same. Every single one of these powders is going to be the same. It's a silica powder. There's no way to really change the powder besides adding fillers. Some companies will add fillers. I know Makeup Forever does not add a filler. I know the Coastal Scents has no fillers in it. Um, so, it, I don't know if this one has fillers. I couldn't even tell you. It could say that it's 100% silica on the website, but this is not as finely milled as the Makeup Forever and the Coastal Scents one. It's more gritty-like. I find that this one doesn't last as long as this, on the skin as these two do. So, I mean, this one's $28. You can do what you will with the information that I'm giving you. Some people are, are label whores, like I will continue to say. This is what the inside looks like. Damn it, my phone's ringing. But it just feels more gritty to me. I do like it, don't get me wrong, but it feels a little bit more gritty. And I, I'll use it up. Shit, yeah, I'll use it up. Okay. Excuse me, my nose is runny. Okay, so the next one and last one I have is the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. Now, first of all, this is $6, awesome deal, but you still can get this for $4.75 from Coastal Scents. This is $6, 50% off sale right now will be $3. I hate the packaging to this. I'd rather have it in something like this. This you have to like, now watch, you're going to see what I'm talking about. This you have to turn and then lift up. Do you see all that powder coming out? Now look at all the powder around the sides and everything. This one comes with a little sticker on top of the, the sifter there. Do not peel that whole entire sticker off. Please just poke holes in it. Poke holes in it. Because if you do not poke holes in it, you're going to have a disaster and it going everywhere like I am. Now, this has fillers in it. There's no if ands, buts about it. This one definitely has some type of fillers in it to um, 
so they don't have to put so much silica powder in it or silicone powder, whatever you want to call it. So they're trying to be frugal, but it doesn't last on the skin like these do. The other ones do. It does not help with your um, concealer settling and fine lines. I will use this one under the eyes. If, if I'm running low or something, I'll use this one under the eyes. This one I cannot use all over the face, but it, you have to use a lot of it for the concealer not to sell in the fine lines. This one doesn't work for me all over my face. I do like it. It is a good powder, don't get me wrong, but I just like my other ones better. And now since I found the one from Coastal Scents for $4.75 instead of $6, I will be getting this one from now on. It, I mean, it's the same exact thing as the Makeup Forever one. This one, to me, just... It just didn't cut it because there's fillers in it. You can tell. If you have this and have the Makeup Forever one, you can see the difference. So if you guys have any questions or anything on um, a high def powder, on any of these powders, on any other companies or anything, please just leave me a comment below. Um, if I forgot something or whatever, let me know because I do do that. I get like ahead of myself and everything. So thank you so much for watching. Any questions, leave them below and take care. Have a great weekend. Bye everybody.